I think community building is key, not only to training and learning, but to how people are going to work in the future. So as we move more and more rapidly into the global borderless workplace, people are going to be working in communities writ large, uh, working with people in all parts of the world, working in communities of people with different skill sets, different experience, different backgrounds, different cultural perspectives. So I think it's key, and we need to be aware of it in a broader setting than just training and learning. So ask me about technology associated with training and education in the next 20 years. So as I said to you before, I'm a card-carrying futurist. So a couple of things come to mind. First of all, they now have technologies that will allow people who are, say, quadriplegic or paraplegic to move parts of their uh, body or, or artificial limbs using their thoughts. So I think we're going to see thought transference as a way to share information. That'll be a viable alternative, certainly in the next 20 years. Another area that I'm totally passionate about is virtual worlds. I was a member of IBM's virtual universe community, there were about 5,000 IBMers, very interested in how you can use immersive environments not only to train but to teach and learn. We used to use it for onboarding, we used it for leadership development. Uh, there's a professor at uh, Harvard Graduate School of Education and Chris Deedy who's using Second Life to train graduate students on how to collect data and write proposals and abstracts. So I'm a big fan of virtual worlds. I think those are two things that we're going to see evolving over the next 20 years.